Hello and welcome to Becca's Top Tips. I'm Becca and today we're talking about return on investment for your video content. But like any other piece of content, whether that's digital, social media, blogging or blogging, you need to be consistent. So before putting any of this into practice, I recommend that you've got a consistent content plan and are creating content regularly in order to drive traction to your website and essentially your brand. Uh, once you've got your video content created and you're putting it on YouTube, um, I would recommend the following things as definites to do. Uh, make sure you've got some serious tagging and keywording going on. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Um, so make sure you've got some keywords in there. That's very, very important. Um, make sure you're targeting your key niche audience with your content. Don't try and go viral. Um, it's not going to happen. It's just going to make you exhausted in trying to make that happen. Uh, so make sure you're targeting your key audience and with key messaging and keeping it consistent with your brand tone of voice. And finally, make sure you've got a key call to action at the end of each of your video content, in particular on your blog content. Um, really important as that will drive traffic to your website and essentially convert uh, your audience into customers. Uh, so with that in mind, this is the end of the top tips in terms of return on investment for your video content. If you'd like to learn more or you have a question for us, just drop a note in the content box below uh, or jump over to deliagency.com. We'll see you soon.